Good morning. Welcome back to the Tribe of Lighthouse. So guys, I'm getting a lot of messages this morning. Um, I've been, um, we've had a lot going on. I've been really, really busy. I haven't uh, been able to um, get on YouTube like I want. So, um, I mean, I've got videos. I'm making videos. I just haven't had a chance to upload them. We've just had a lot going on around us. But I just want y'all to know I appreciate your likes, scribes, and, sub um, and um, um, shares. Um, um, I have memberships open now and I'm in the process of making, uh, or making videos for the members only. Um, but I wait for my angels to talk to me and tell me what they want, want particular people to know. Um, and I'm, um, also like this morning, I'm, I've been doing some deeper meditation, candle meditating, and I'm getting like specific people energies are like coming up to the forefront. We've got the winds of change going on this morning. The winds are blowing this morning. And while when I suddenly noticed that, all these different um, types of people started like coming to my conscious mind of uh, just the like energies. So I just kind of like went into a deeper meditation and just started grabbing decks in, in a row. Which one? And just what I was just going with what they were telling me. So somebody right now is coming into their power. And it, 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 it's not, it's not in divine timing. In other words, this is someone that's just going along and all of a sudden they've got all, a bunch of chaos surrounding them. And so I assume I'm not the only one, right? But they've got all this, a bunch of chaotic things going around them that is making or showing them where their power comes from like maybe you're good in in um in emergencies or maybe um the, it's feeling like the ground below your feet is kind of shaking and i tell you what it feels this feels like somebody that's in some kind of technological type um of of a uh, job or something like that and i'll tell you why i feel that way because um they had me they um i've got on the on the place oracle deck i've got overcoming divides connecting pathway so this is somebody that suddenly suddenly is getting information from other people places or um getting some kind of knowledge coming in that is giving them strong intuitive hints of where they need to go so they go and they do research on it and they travel somewhere okay so if you are in some kind of innovative a field rather it's gas oil uh people um um some kind of some kind of techno technological field you're standing out among your subordinates and other people around you because there's some chaos things going on and you get this idea and you're listening to your intuition you're listening to your angels you're listening you know you're just you're listening you're paying attention and you keep getting these intuitive hits that going into the near future you're going to make some kind of breakthrough and you're going to discover this is where my true power is. This is where I am most productive. Okay. And it's brought about because of something that's out of your control, totally out of your control. All this chaos happens and it just like opens you up. Okay. And you're suddenly like, oh, I see where I'm going now. Okay. And you're doing some traveling. You're doing heavy duty research. You could maybe even be um, a lawyer or some type of lawyer. Um, what are they saying? Not tax lawyer. Um, somebody that goes to big goes to fight for corporations, and you but you don't fight for corporations. You fight against corporations. I think is what it is. And um, maybe a group of people come to you for help, and they're having some kind of chaos. And this is why I'm saying it's out of your control. And you you're like it comes through you through another, and all of a sudden you realize where you're. You start specializing in it, is what I'm trying to say, okay? And it's 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 brought about by somebody else, some other thing that all of a sudden you just these are all these are all intuitive hits, okay? This is where you start overcoming something. Maybe even you you've been in the background, but you start coming to the forefront because of of because you're connecting with these people. Um, Maybe you're even going to go fight a city, a town, a um, 
it feels like it's not like a small town. It feels like it's a, a bigger town. Like maybe a, a, you're going to go fight a, a... It feels like it's in a metropolitan type area because there's there's like subways there. But you're, you're going to travel there. And that's where you're going to... Um, I feel like this is actually maybe a law library or um, a research, some, some kind of place like that, wherever you get your knowledge from. But I think you get yours actually from books. I mean, you do some research online, but maybe you're somebody that, I feel like this is somebody in their 30s or 40s, and I'm picking up more of on a masculine energy, but it could be, it just be a, a female that's very in touch with her feminine energies as well, okay? So what else about this person? Look right on the bottom, guys. we got talking stick. This is somebody who makes their living talking. But you've been in the background, but you're getting ready to come to the forefront in some sort of way. Some sort of way. And you may even be the answer to somebody's prayers. Somebody's been asking for someone like you. And... Or maybe even you've been asking for this kind of a situation. And you shapeshift. You go from being this quiet person in the background to actually over the next six to eight months go to being somebody that might even end up in the news end up in the news because you take on this small group of people or something like that and you start you just you come into your power just all of a sudden you go from being somebody that's always been in the background Maybe you even leave your place of business and go somewhere where it opens up and you just start your own business wherever you find yourself at. You find yourself in a different place. In, your, in, 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 in some kind of way, just everything just suddenly opens up. And I'm feeling like this is within a six to eight month period from now. I don't feel like this chaos is quite here yet. But it's where you realize your power is when it happens. Sometime before... I feel like the chaos is going to happen, and you're somebody in the West, maybe in the West, but you have those transformative, you transform, you start transforming. This is feeling strongly like somebody that shapeshifts or transforming energies, um, or maybe you go to, from the West Coast to the East Coast, because um, this, you know, the, the bridge in, in California is the West Coast as well, but it's, 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 it, I'm just feeling like there's some kind of travel and research. Maybe you travel somewhere to find this research or f go to this place because there's a lot of travel in these cards as well. Maybe you go from a very calm, small place and end up in a big place. Like maybe this, you know, I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm just telling you what I'm, the energies I'm picking up on. But this is someone that definitely transforms their whole future. And you, either it's the answer to your prayers or you're the answer to someone else's prayers. Winds of change. I'm hearing, actually literally hearing 555 five, five in my head. You become an elder at this. This becomes, this is going into the future. This is going into the future. You become an elder in this. This is where you are headed. This is where you're headed. This is where you're headed. You are headed into becoming an elder. Eldership. Smudging someone. You manage to um, bring a lot of change and clarity and cleansing to this project that you take on with these people. And you change some kind of huge dynamic going into the future. This place that you go to. You just, you change it all up. You you change it up in some sort of way. You totally... Maybe you even are responsible for creating a new law in some sort of way. What do you... What else do you... What do you work on behind the scenes on yourself? This, guys, this is the... Um, this is the Starseed deck, but I'm specifically using it for progressing on the internally. So what do you change internally? Or what do you need to pay attention to? You got the love. Hadadrian energy, codependency, boundaries. You got the love. So because you have this love in your heart, I feel like you fight for the underdog. You fight for the underdog. The people that don't have... That's why you become big. You end up fighting for those that 
That's why you're the answer to the prayer. Man, guys. Oh, right on the money. My left leg. Oh, I got chills going down one side of my body. Oh, yes. This is somebody that definitely changes the future. So this is a basis that you're working from. Love is the basis for it. You get really upset about whatever this chaos is these people bring you. You get really mad. You get really mad. You get really mad and you're and you just you step up to the plate where nobody else would. They've maybe even gone to some other people, lawyers or some kind of technicians or help or city councils or something like that, and we're told there's nothing we can do. And they're like, No, this is ridiculous. Just because there's a few of us doesn't mean we can't win this. And so you travel. Maybe they get you online. Whoa, all the cards just fell off the table. Forge don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. This is definitely about being a trailblazer. Definitely about being a trailblazer. Definitely about being a trailblazer. Wow. Okay. So these are the cards that fell on the floor. So your life is a canvas. Artist manifestation. Creative accountability. So you make some other corporation or city council or some other place. You make them be accountable for what they've done. I'm hearing Eric, um, Aaron uh, Bonovich, uh, how do you say her name? She made, Pete. was it PG&E? Because this was in California, right? Years ago, she made them be accountable for what they did, right? You make these other people, ye oh, that's very telling. So, she wasn't a lawyer, right? But she just went to work for a lawyer? Maybe that's how it starts out. Maybe this is how you even somehow, somehow become a lawyer in the future or something like that. Pleiades and a visionary, inspired ideas. I feel like I'm still hearing gas and 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 uh, and um not electric. I'm hearing gas, oil. Um, natural gas, steam. I, I'm trying to put it together, but it just feels like this is talking about something extremely innovative. And these people come to you and there's not that many. I mean, you make some kind of a big, huge difference. Soul memories and gifts. You, and somewhere along the line, you've, you've, um, in either a past life or in, when you were younger, you helped somebody else in some sort of way. That's going to spark a memory for someone. Someone is going to say or feel or remember, oh yeah, this is, that would be similar to when I did such and such when I was young. Maybe before you were even grown. Okay. Take good care of yourself while you're doing this because the stress levels will be high. They're saying. On the bottom of the deck, all paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, trust, turn your gaze within. This is confirmation for someone. You know this is you. And they're wanting you to serve the word by be, world by being you. Soul gifts and training, it's time to step up. So they are telling you, you are the one. So whoever this message resonates for, this is definitely becoming a very public figure. This is where you're being called to go. And we are going to see you in the news in the future. I'm seeing it clear as day in my head, this energy... Somebody that's that you wouldn't even notice in the background. And as you go forward in the future, you get all this confidence too. You start speaking your mind, and it doesn't you it does make you emotional, but it's because you have love for other people and love for the underdog, is what I keep hearing. So you travel somewhere. I don't know if it's within the same state. Maybe you're 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 studying, I, I don't know, some kind of technician, some kind of lawyer, some kind of maybe you're just a legal aid, you become a lawyer. Or this is why you're studying and this goes about and it's like one of the first things that you even try. Because in the future you become very big. Grab some, um, is there anything else you want to tell me about this person? This person who gets their power because of chaos. They come into their power because of chaos. But not their own chaos. It's what triggers them. So what else triggers them? Or anything else? What, what do they, um, I don't want to see what they don't see coming because somebody's going to, somebody's going to think this isn't them. But what else you want to tell them? 
have to try to give me a particular room. You are going like a lightning bolt. You are going to make a difference. You are protected. You're being guided to go this way. You think you're not, but you are. I love it when I get these underdog messages. Look, working with the divine. The divine is trying to trying to show you this path because of the love and what they what what your angels, spirit guides, what they see, what they know of you. This this love is what is the driving factor in and you're not a touchy feely person either, but it's this love that 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 you feel that is the driving force behind you becoming this letting this chaos push you and drive you forward into becoming the person you're meant to be. Rewards for efforts in a year within the next year. This is also um, legal. Well, guys, I'm going to literally read you this room, okay? Now that I got one of my copy of my favorite book again. This is all about rewards for efforts, all about legalities. Um, and you can use it in magical spells too. It's also the rune of harvest rewards arriving at the proper time. It governs legalities of all sorts. It's useful in all legal matters. Um, helps bring the events to pass. Helps in legal matters. Fertility. Use when a tangible result is expected for an outlay of money, time, or effort. Okay, but it's rewards, right? So that's that's in, in a magical way. Let me read y'all. Sometimes I like their descriptions better, but this is reward for efforts. This is somebody, this is your gift. This is your gift of being able to do this. And it's always something, ooh, they're saying, okay, I just found the page. But they're saying it's something you uncover like Aaron Brockovich did with these people that come that you're the answer to their prayers. From this small chaos somewhere unknown and it becomes really big known. God, guys, let me know in the comments if there's any of you that feel like you're this person or if you become this person. So this is the moon of harvest, the reaping of rewards for efforts expanded. Rewards can be karmic in nature as a good deed returned for a good deed done, or they can be re repayment, an actual repayment of money. It's also the rune of just, justice and legalities of every kind, and appears in a rune cast an indication that the querent, which would be you, is concerned about some legal matter, although it does not always signify significant um, a positive outcome. But we got that elder rune, so that tells me different. Because the harvest can only come after an expenditure of energy and care, Jera implies events must come to fruit in their own times. Sometimes the delay in question can be a legal issue of some kind, which is why the people come to you, okay, such as the, de the delay involved financing a home, obtaining a divorce, or having to do research, okay? Um, if Jera, it usually shows a positive outcome to the dilemma at hand, often utilizing legal help, Um if the rune cast is primary negative, guys, this is primarily positive reading. Okay, it's um, let's see, um, that so that doesn't apply. Weird need or nope, not with any. So this this you are very suited for, but you do need to. Okay, it says it all because it could be a warning not to speak ill of others before all the relevant facts are known. So even though these people come in. Okay, and you're the answer to their prayers. That's another reason why you go to the library there. Okay, does that make sense? That's another reason why you go look it up. Because, you know, people can, three people can say the same thing, but all three of them say it differently. So, you go do your research. So, I feel like this is a legal aid, or maybe even somebody, I, I, I don't know. I just know what I'm picking up, that this chaos is what brings somebody into their power. So, guys, I'm going to leave that right there. This feels like something that is starting to brew in the winds of change right now. You know, this is all starting to swirl around. You may not even be seeing it yet, but it's coming towards you. Okay. Man, back, guys, the back, oh, the back of my head is, <laughs> the back of my head is just got uh, goosebumps going all over it. The whole left side of my body, goosebumps. Okay. Um. So, guys, I'm going to leave this here. You are meant to be an elder in the future. And you fight for the underdog. And it's just time for you to step up going into the future. This is you. Be a light in the darkness. You're meant to shine.